Hi, so I'm making a part three uh, continuation of this video up here specifically to address this question here. I would assume you can do the same for beats three and four. The answer is yes. And combining um, one and two carats with shots could be handy for tight syncopated arrangements. I'd imagine, can you do this on the 2016 version for Mac? So first of all, uh, the answer to this is yes. You can do this on the 2016 version for Mac, though I am going to demonstrate in the Windows version right now just because I have that handy. But the, f the features that I'm showing you, none of them are new, uh, although one of the, the style I'm using is one of the newer ones. Um, but the features themselves have been around for ages, so certainly the 2016 version for Mac and earlier uh, can do everything that I'm going to be doing in this one here. So, um, so the question is to include beats three and four and to also uh, combine it with some shots. Um, so I'll do all those things in a, in a sample here. So here I have a funk song here and I'll play a little bit of it. This is a demo, the demo for our lash out style. It's just generating. <laughs> All right, so, um, and now I have, uh, I just, you know, excuse my uh, chicken scratch writing here, but I put out, a, I just wrote out a little rhythm here that I thought, let me see if I can enter this into Band in a Box. Now, I should, I should say the one thing, though, in using the shots and, and the pushes and stuff within the bar is you're still limited to four chords per bar. So, in this case, I am, because this, essentially, ignoring the pushes here, this is beat one, two, three, four. So we've got four chord changes. And this is essentially the first uh, beat of the next bar. So it's these four chords, and then this is the start of the next bar. So if I want to do this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can enter this at bar five. And maybe I'll even make one of them a shot. Uh, maybe this B flat, I'll make a shot rather than playing the chord. Uh, so... Uh, okay, so let me let me enter them. So first of all, the G minor starts at the downbeat of the first uh, at the first beat. So the G minor here at bar five can leave it the way it is. But the B flat here, you can see this is a dotted eighth and this is a sixteenth note here. So we want this pushed by a sixteenth note. Basically, this rhythm is three, four, ba, 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 ba. That's that's the rhythm we're we're after with this. Ba, 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 da. Three, four, da, 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 da. Okay, so um, now, so beats one and two are the G minor and the B flat, and the B flat is pushed by a sixteenth note. Uh, and I'll also make it a shot. So to enter, uh, beats one and two go into the the first cell of of any bar. So G minor, comma to get the next bar, and then two carats to push it by a sixteenth note. B flat. And I'll put two periods to make that one a shot. So we've got the first half of this entered in right now. Now the question in the f in the YouTube post was, can it be done? Can the same thing be done at beats three and four? And yeah, absolutely. And we'll do that now. So we have the A minor, which is pushed by an eighth note, because this is the this is beat three is on this, but it's tied over from the previous eighth notes. So the A minor is pushed by an eighth note, and um, I wrote this as a quarter note because I have I was always taught that in splitting up beats three and four, an eighth, a quarter, and an eighth is still acceptable, even though this is a syncopated thing here. So but this so this F7 chord is pushed is basically pushed by an eighth note as well. So both of these, A minor and the F7, are pushed by eighth notes. So carrot to push by an eighth note, A minor, comma, carrot to push by another eighth note, F7. So now we have everything entered from this. This is basically mirrored in this. Uh, we have the G minor, which is pushed by an eighth note, and that's at, at uh, the start of the second bar. Uh, what did I say? G minor. So carrot, G minor. So like I said before, you can do cool syncopated stuff like this, but you still are limited to four chords per bar. But that still gives you a lot, uh, a lot to work with. So I'll regenerate here. And um, it'll just take a second. Uh, this the background styles, uh, backgrounds and solos take a bit longer. Now I'll start here, and we'll 
I'll start uh, I'll start at bar three. All right, let's check that out again. All right, so there you go. That's uh, and we could change things up if we want this A minor. If maybe we want all of these just pushed by sixteenth, let's change that to two carats A minor, two carats F seven, two carats G minor, and let's check that out now. There you go.